hey guys in this video let's create our first logic app so what is our requirement so basically we want that when a blob is uploaded we want to read blob name and blob url and then we want to save this blob name and blob url in sql db so in this case our trigger will be when new blob is uploaded and then our action it will be we want to read blob name and blob url and we want to save it in sql db so guys we are in azure and let's create a new instance of logic app so let's click on logic apps i will say add now guys here we have to select the hosting plan that is consumption or standard so basically consumption plan it is used by multi tenants that means this plan that is the infrastructure used to host this logic app it will be shared among multiple tenants that is multiple customers of azure and guys for most of the scenarios consumption plan is good enough for us so in this video as well we will select this consumption plan and i will say select let's select resource group now let's give name to our logic app so i will say logic app demo and here let's say review plus create and then and then create our logic app has been created now let's say go to resource and now guys on the left hand side can you see this development tools so let's expand and here now let's click on this logic app designer and now first we have to add a trigger right and our trigger will be when a new blob is uploaded i'll click on this add trigger and here let's search for blob and here guys can you see this azure blob storage and the trigger is this that is when a blob is added or modified so let's click on it and obviously first we have to create a connection that is connector to connect to this blob storage account and see guys i have already created this storage account and under that we have this container that is my container and we will be uploading a blob in this my container so let's first add the connection so here i will say blob connection and then authentication type so as of now we will use this access key for authentication but guys as far as possible we should not use access key and instead we should go for this managed identity and we will work with managed identity in our upcoming videos but but as of now let's use access key and now here we need to provide the storage account name so let's copy this name and then we need to provide access key so here under security networking i will say access keys here let's say show and let's copy this key and now i will say create new yeah our connection has been created and now let's select the further details so from this drop down i will select this that is storage account then container let's select my container and guys this is important that is how often do you want to check for atoms so let's expand this and as of now i will say 10 seconds frequency i will say second 10 seconds okay so basically that's it guys for the trigger and then we have to click on this icon that is collapse and now guys can you see this plus sign that means now 
when this trigger is fired we have to add action so let's click on it i will say add an action and again and now our action it will be sql so so yes i can see this sql server and here guys let's click on this see more let's go down and let's select this that is insert row but again we have to provide connection details for our sql database so here now guys for this demo i have already created sql database so let's open it and now let's provide the connection details for this sql database okay so again here under connection name i will say sql connection then authentication type i will say sql sql server authentication and now here we need to provide the sql server name and then database name right so server name is this one so i'll copy it and the database name and this is our database that is logic app study sql and now we want to give username and password and now here i will say create new so it looks like our sql connection has been created and now let's select the server name that is this one then database name this one and then we have to select table name and guys if you see as of now i have created this table that is blob details so as if i go to this table see this is that table that is tbl blob details and in that we have two columns that is blob name and then blob url right as of now this table is empty and now we have to click on this that is show all and now we can see the columns in this tbl blob details and these are blob name and then blob url now guys from this uploaded blob we have to read the blob name and then the path or the url for that blob right so here under blob name let's click on it and guys can you see this icon see this please, please follow my mouse and it says enter the data from previous step right so let's click on that and here it provides us an option to select the input for this action right and the input it can be say so this list of file name so it will be the name of our blob so let's select it and similarly under blob url again let's click on this icon and here let's select this that is list of file path right and now again let's collapse this so basically that's it guys and now let's save our workflow so i will say save and now this workflow it will trigger every 10 seconds that is what we configured right and now let's test it so let's open my container here i will say upload here browse and here let's upload this image that is car1 let's open and i will say upload and now let's go back to our logic app so guys we have waited for some time and here on the left hand side let's click on this run history so yes our workflow has been executed once and it shows succeeded right and now let's cross check in our sql server and here i will execute this query let's execute and yes we can see the blob name and blob url but guys can you see this blob url see it's not actually the url but it's a relative path right but now you want to upload the full url for this blob and now how to do it let's see it in our next video